Hello, Mr. T with a tutorial on solving polynomial functions or polynomial equations using factoring. First kind of factoring we should always look for is, is there a GCF? So if we look at 12, negative 14, 40, all those numbers are divisible by 2, so we can factor out a 2. And every term in this polynomial has an x, so we can factor out a 2x. And we need to find what's left after we factor out that 2x. So we divide each of the original terms by 2x. So now we get here 6x squared minus 7x minus 20. Now we have a, a trinomial here, so we want to see if we can factor that. To factor a quadratic trinomial where the a is not equal to 1, we can start out by finding a times c, which in this case is negative 120. And we're looking for a pair of numbers that multiply to be negative 120 and add to be negative 7. So we can try, let's say here, 2 and negative 60. That doesn't work. 3 and negative 40. That doesn't work. 4 and negative 30. No good. Uh, let's say 6 and negative 20, that's no good. 7, let's try 8, goes into negative 120, uh, negative 15, and we get negative 7 here. So we're going to use those pair of numbers to rewrite. So we get 6x squared plus 8x plus negative 15x minus 20 and we group our first two terms and next two terms factor out a 2x here and we're left with 3x plus 4 and out here we can factor out a negative 5 and we're left with 3x plus 4 so our factors are 2x minus 5 and 3x plus 4 so if we take that back up here and write this in factored form, we now have three factors. Now if you have things multiplied together that equal zero, the only way that can happen is if one, we have essentially three numbers here, three terms, one of those at least has to be zero, or they could all be zero. That's called the zero product property. It's one of the fundamentals of algebra and that allows us to solve quadratic and polynomial equations. So we can take each factor and set it as an equation equal to zero and solve that to find which values of x would make one of the factors zero. They would also then be one of the solutions of the original equation. So 2x equals zero. If we solve that by dividing by 2. We get x equals zero. Here we need to add 5 and divide by 2, so we get x equals 5 halves. And here we subtract 4, and divide by 3. So our solutions for the original problem are x equals 0, positive 5 halves, and negative 4 thirds. If we wanted to, we could verify that that works by plugging each of those numbers back into our original equation and verify that it makes that equal to zero. Thank you.